Yes, hello everyone. Good afternoon. Welcome to online class and myself Yasmin. Today I am going to teach you a new lesson, unit 2, lesson 2. Name of this lesson is the bubble, the straw and the shoe. But before we start this class, I request you all, write down your name, class, section, roll number and send it to comment section. So that I mention in the attendance register. Okay, so let's start our lesson. Open your book, page number 21, page number 21. Okay, now all of look here what I have in my hand. Yes. Observe it. What is this? What is this? Yes, children. Look this one. What I have in my hand. Yes. If you know what is this, write your answer in the comment section. Yes. 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 What I have in my hand. Straw. Very good. That is, who has written this? Ayushman. Ayushman Bahera. Very good, Ayushman. Yes. Now look this one. What I have now. Yes. Look it carefully. What is now? Yes. What is this? In my hand. Shoe. Very good. Again, Ayushman has given me answer. Now, next. Look this one. What is this? Yes. Look it carefully. Write down. What is? Look this picture carefully. Yes. Guess something. Bubble. Very good. Who has written this? Shekhar Singh. Who is Shekhar Singh? Aisha. Aisha. Very good, Aisha. Okay. So, today we will read the story of these three friends. What they do, where they live, where they go, what happened with them. Okay. So, are you ready? So, keep finger on words and you try to repeat after me. Okay. Now, keep finger on first line. Name of this lesson is the bubble, the straw, and the shoe. Okay. Once upon a time, yes, try to repeat after me. Once upon a time, there lived a bubble, a straw, and a shoe. There were three friends. Name of these three friends are a bubble, a straw, and a shoe. One day, one day they went into the forest. Where they went one day? They one day they went into the forest. Now the meaning of bubble. Bubble is a bamboo-shaped body. A bamboo-shaped body. Form over liquid. Have you ever made a bubble? Yes. Have you ever made a bubble? Say yes or no. Yes, some of you have made bubble from your mouth. Okay. Our next one is straw. Straw means a pie to drink juice. Yes. How do you drink? How do you drink coconut water? With the help of this straw. Sometime when you went to a juice shop, you drink juice with the help of this straw. Okay. And the meaning of forest is a part of land full of trees. Now look this picture. This is a small forest map I made for you. Okay. So forest means a part of land full of trees. And then you look your book. This is a beautiful picture on is given in page number on page number 21. Okay, so where they went one day? One day they went 
into the forest. They came to a river. After walking some distance, they came to a river. They did not know how to cross it. They did not know how to cross the it. Here the word it means the river. Okay. Here the word cross. Cross means go to. Cross means go through. So they did not know how to cross it. Means they do not know. They did not know how to cross the river. Now come to fourth paragraph. Keep finger on it. The shoe sack. What the shoe sack? The shoe sack bubble. Let us float on you. Shoe sack to the bubble. Okay. This is shoe. And what the shoe sack to the bubble? Let float. Let's float on you. Okay. You heard the word float. Float means F L O A T. Float means to move upon water. Move upon water. Float means move upon Water. Children, note the right hand thing from the board. Don't need to write whatever I have written on the board or whatever I will write on the board. You don't need to write anything. Okay, this you will get in your worksheet. Understood? So, cross is go through and the bubble set. What the bubble? Okay, the shoe set, shoe set bubble. Let us float on you. Okay, now turn page next turn page number twenty two. No shoe. Let's draw a stretch. What the bubble said to the shoe? The, the bubble bubble is very intelligent. Okay, bubble is very intelligent. So what he said to the shoe? Let his straw stretch himself. Here the word stretch. Stretch means to pull. Like look this straw. This is a straw to stretch. Let us stretch to pull. Stretch to pull himself. Okay. Here the word stretch. S T R E T C H. Stretch means to pull. So bubble was very intelligent. So what he said? Don't float on me. Okay. And he said to shoe, shoes, straw, stretch himself from one bank to the other. Here the bank. There are two meaning of bank. One bank meaning is where your father deposit money. Okay. Or here in this story, the bank meaning of bank is the side of river. Here the word bank means side of river. This is Bank. This is the side of river. This is river. So this part is called bank. Okay. Now is this clear to you? What is the meaning of bank? Side of river. Okay. So then we cross. We can cross the river. Okay. Now come to next paragraph. So the straw stretched himself. What the straw did? What the straw did? He stretched himself. Okay. And from one bank to the other. He stretched. He 
destroy stretch placement from one bank to the other. Okay, this is strong. Yes, is this is been clear to you? Okay, so straw is stretch himself from one bank to the other. When shoe jump on the straw, what happened? When shoe jump, shoe jump on the straw, what happened? The straw broken. It broken. When shoe jump on the straw, it broke. Here broke means broke is the second form of break. Broke is the second form of break. When shoe jump on the straw, it broke. Okay. And what happened next? The shoe fell into the water. The shoe, it fell into the water. Okay. Now next. With a loud splash. Here the word splash means sound of water. Okay. In Hindi it is called chapa. Okay. Splash. Splash means sound of water. Sound of water is called splash. Have you uh, heard this sound, splash sound, when you jump in the swimming pool? What sound comes from it? Splash, chapak. Okay. So, what happened when the shoe jump on the straw? When the shoe is jump on the straw, straw is broke. The shoe fell into the water. Look this, the shoe fell into the water with a loud splash, with sound of water. Now come to last line, key finger on. The bubble shook, the bubble shook. Here look this bubble. This is bubble. So what happened? The bubble shook. What is the shook? Shook is the second form of it's the second form of shape. Okay, or we can say that past form of shape. Shook. Shook is the past form of shape. Okay, so the bubble shook and shook with laughter. Shook, you know, uh, we have already learned this word in previous uh, lesson. Shook like uh, uh, meanings move your hands like left and right or up and down. How you laugh? <laughs> Sometimes you laugh like this way. Okay, the same way the bubble shook and shook. With laughter. Oh, ha, ha, ha. Yeah, the word laughter means act of laughing. Laughter. Meaning of laughter means act of laughing. Okay. Yes, the bubble shook and shook with laughter and burst and burst with big bang. Here the word burst means to break. Burst means to break. Have you ever burst anything? Yes, in your birthday party. Yes. When you cut, after cutting your cake, what happened? Everybody who, they run here and there and they burst all the balloons in your house. Right? Am I right? Yes. Did you, okay. Do you like to burst balloon? 
Yes, I hope you all like to burst balloons. Sometimes when uh, your father brings something in the poly bag, what do you do? You uh, uh, you take this poly bag, you take poly bag, and you blow air in the poly bag. Okay. After then, what do you do? You burst that poly bag, and you like this one. Okay. Yes. You do you like to uh, do this activity? Okay, if you don't have this time, if you don't have any balloon in your home, what you do? After completing this lesson, you ask your mother to give a poly bag. You blow air in the poly bag, and what you do next? You burst that poly bag. Okay, so what happened? The bubble shook and shook with laughter. Ha 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 ha, and burst with. it means the bubble burst with a big bang what i hear the word bang bang means very loud noise bang is very loud noise okay third the bubble shook and shook with laughter and burst with big bang okay so these are so uh, this is the story of three friends and the name of three friends are bubble straw and shoe and where they go one day they went into the forest what they want to do they cross the river for Cross the river. What they plan? They plan that uh, straw stretch himself on the bank of river, and they after then they move on it. Okay, and but what will happen? What happened? The shoe. What the shoe do? Shoe and the shoe uh, want to cross the river, and when he jump on the straw, what happened? It fell into the river okay so uh, i hope you like this story yes did you like this story say yes or no if you like this story write in the comment section yes ma'am i like this story okay now next what you will do i am giving you one homework you read this lesson four or five times okay because reading is very important for in english language okay so you read this story three or four times and if you found any difficulties or to if you found difficult to pronounce any word you ask your parent okay how to pronounce this word and after reading this uh next uh, in next uh, video means in next class i will ask you some question related to this lesson okay so and you one more homework i am giving to you because in my previous video i taught you two letter words and three letter words so you underline all two letter words and three letter words in this lesson and uh, write that uh, two letter words three letter words in rough note okay and uh, uh, this is two homework i am giving to you so children i hope Uh, you read out this story and you uh, try to do some activities like uh, uh, in your drawing book okay you draw a picture of shoe bubble and a straw and color it okay so i in next video i will ask you some questions so be ready for that until then bye take care okay